we're in pavilions right now. This is where I shop. So this is equivalent to like a Ralph's or a Publix for you East Coast guys. So right now we're in the produce section. I'm gonna be taking you through my grocery haul. First things first, potassium. So I don't catch the cramps. Love me some bananas. I like it to be like right on the, the edge of becoming ripe. So that way I don't have to wait too long for them to be ready to go like the next day or even that same night. This is probably the, the closest one to being ripe here. Asparagus is a must. I used to hate, actually you know what? I still hate asparagus. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they keep these well hydrated. Look at that. All right, here we go. Haas avocados. Medium is good enough. The big ones are a little too big, but these, I like to have these healthy fats. I love avocados, they taste great to me. So yeah, healthy fats like this, olive oil, nut butters, gotta have those in the diet. Egg yolks. I'll go for like two of these that are basically ready to go today and tomorrow just so I can have them. And then I'll, I'll choose two that are a little more hard. I'll give those a few days to become ripe and then I'll have them when the time is needed. I can't tell you how many times I've let avocados go rotten just because I've forgotten that I have them or they just become ripe too fast. Baby spinach. This is Gaines, key to Gaines if you're a Popeyes fan. I usually mix it in with my egg whites in the morning or if I'm having like chicken breast and rice, I'll throw some in there, warm it up, chop it up. Yeah, it's easy to go. And I have super greens sometimes on my off season. But since we're bulking for this prep, I'm specifically aiming for spinach. And we're gonna go back this way. I'm gonna pick up some organic carrot juice. I like carrot juice because um, just everything that carrots are good for, like eyesight, uh, it's cleansing to the body. It's, it's, it's really refreshing to me. And I know that it's organic. I know that it's natural, like me. And <laughs> it's just really good. When you're a seasoned pro, you double bag it when you know you gotta get yeah. <laughs> Bro, chill. <laughs> Who brought this guy, man? You. <laughs> so, whenever I'm shopping for yams, for sweet potatoes, I'll break off the ends because they always pierce holes into the bags and I'm not having that. I don't wanna walk out the store and lose my yams out of the bag. So I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm a villain. I'm a villain. <laughs> Typically in the morning I'll have my oatmeal, throw some blueberries in there, along with the honey and almond butter. So like these, other times I'll have blueberries or in a smoothie. Fun fact, I used to work produce at Publix. This is back when I was living in Florida. So I know exactly how it works in here. I know how they throw the ones that are gonna expire on the top and the ones that are going to last longer on the bottom. So, and I know how they work with, they want you not to check the bottom so you can't see the ones that are going rotten. So it looks like we're good. You ever had gnocchi? Yeah. Yeah, gnocchi's good. I like it as a carb source. It's not bad. And if you, if you put like the right kind of seasoning or sauce on it. So I'm gonna be having this with my ground turkey on this prep. And yeah, so this is, I can't remember how I got introduced to gnocchi, but it's definitely a different carb. You don't really see a lot of people eating this. Jasmine rice. America's favorite rice, well, it's definitely my favorite. White rice, this is obviously a staple in the bodybuilding community. Chicken rice and everything nice. Throw this in the pot. Boom. Jeez, dude. Yeah, this is a, uh, I don't even know what I would compare this to as a, a carb, like as far as the texture and what it tastes like, but this is really good. I treat it like rice. And I also use the rice cooker for this. It's kind of like the same way of cooking, but yeah, this will be used in my prep as well. It's another carb. So right now in the, in the cart we have white rice, quinoa, gnocchi. We have more carbs like the blueberries, like the bananas, even the carrot juice. Everything's a carb, damn it. Salmon fillets, man. I love salmon. 
gonna get the family pack because I'm a one man family. <laughs> so here is the only place in this pavilion right now where I'm gonna find top sirloin steak, which is what I usually eat. And this is 100% grass fed. I've never grabbed anything from this shelf. And this is like super, <laughs> I guess they don't keep it as cool as they do over there, but I mean, it's the same, the same kind of steak and it's super lean. Top sirloin steak is very lean. That's why I like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this here today just so I can be able to have it for this grocery haul. Then at another time, I'll probably come back at a later time to this pavilion or a Ralph's to find top sirloin steak like it is over there. That way I can get more, more bang for my buck. You know what's so funny? The more I come in and grab groceries, the more I, I, I'm not gonna say I despise it, but eating super lean can get boring sometimes because obviously there's not a lot of fat, there's not gonna be a lot of flavor, not a lot of substance, but I mean, it keeps me looking like this and I'm happy with the way I look and I wanna continue to look like this. So we're on prep. I gotta trust the process and not be a little bitch about it. So we got those. Now we need chicken breast and that'll conclude our visit to the wall of protein. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. This really gives you a lot of bang for your buck. 20 bucks for this. And the stats here, per four ounces, super lean. 25 grams of protein, three grams of fat, no carbs chicken breast so like this is just a side note but a, a snack that I love to have literally just take a cup of Greek yogurt and this is the the vanilla or is this plain yes yeah, vanilla throw a tablespoon of almond butter in that thing and just mix it up till it turns to like a custard Fire. I'll have that in either like the morning or at night it's a super convenient snack I love it too bad it's not on the prep though did we get lucky or what Dude, I'm grabbing both of those. Because I, I, gotta, I gotta crush one tonight so I can complete that meal, the protein shake. Had to go with this. All right, let's see what we got here. Almond milk unsweetened. I never drink regular milk anymore. I haven't for years. I like to, to mix, like when I'm making my protein shake, I'll have, uh, I'd say like three quarters water, one quarter unsweetened almond milk, and then put the protein in it with the cinnamon. That's the way I like to do my shit. I know it's a little weird mixing milk and water, but trust me, it just makes it that much sweeter. Give me a nice set of eggs, free range. Always gotta check that thing, make sure nothing's cracked. And then we're gonna get some egg whites right here. They're out of, bro. Oh, no, you got these right here, but that's- Man, them little ass small. freaking lunchroom in the high school. Yeah, ones. it's not, not much. <laughs> oh, man, I have to. I have no choice. <laughs> All right, let me grab another one. And one more for good measure. It's the last one up there. Jesus. Ah, making me feel tall being able to reach to the back. Oh, we gotta have the Quaker Oats on hand. Quick, one minute. All I do is boil some water, throw it in a bowl with these oats. And then, like I said, I'll throw in my blueberries, my almond butter, and the honey to give it some taste. So this super clutch, I'm getting two of them. This will keep me set for, I mean, probably a little more than two weeks. I'm having them every day. And then we'll go ahead and grab some almond butter. But we're gonna stick with a basic raw almond butter, creamy. And yeah, for those of you wondering, I'm sure you guys know what it is, but it's the nut oil. So you can choose to either mix it up when it gets in there, just to give it more of like a, a softer, more smooth texture when spreading. Or you can choose to be like me, like I was before. I had the knowledge, pour it all out and let this become like super dry and hard to spread. Yeah, dude, I've been there. So we're trying to find a minimal protein source that will give me 10 grams of protein. And there's always room for more. 10 grams of protein, five grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat. Dan has led me to these Lovely Quest chips. I love, honestly, like I love these. I will tear these apart. The only thing that sucks is the price, but. They are, wow. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yep. There's like no chips in there. 19 grams protein, five grams fat, five grams carbs. Dude, it's like the closest thing to what I need though. But, yeah, but am I trying to th throw these down every day for the prep? Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but let me see if we can find something else and make it 10 grams of protein. 
if I eat two of them, how much? <laughs> this, these are the mathematics that go into being a bodybuilder. 12 grams of protein if I eat two of these. 30 grams of fat. Too much fat. <sighs> and too much carbs. Mm, I might have to run the chips, Dan. 21 grams protein, 22 grams carbs. Nine grams of fat. You know what I think we're gonna do for now? We're gonna run the chips. Let's see which one's got the best. More protein, yeah, more protein, less fat. More fat, less protein. Same carbs. Now let's see the Taco Bell. More protein. Okay, so these two are the same. Let's go with these. Screw it. Keep me afloat. Actually, we'll do two more. Extra virgin olive oil, soy lec lecithin propellant contains soy. This one is only organic extra virgin olive oil. We're going with this. Cause I don't trust all that. Not all that mess. I knew as soon as I saw non-stick cooking spray, I knew they had to put something in there and make it non-stick. We're natty over here. We're natty. All right, guys, you saw it here. That's my grocery haul. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below.